wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best Edison lamps. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, reminiscent of an antique oil lantern, the Franklin Ironworks Bodie has a distressed finish that gives it a rustic look. Its thoughtful design includes a secondary nightlight and a 2-amp USB port that's good for charging tablets. Its linen shade reduces glare and a single switch controls both lights, however it only comes in one style and color. At number 9, at a little over 5 feet tall, the Franklin Ironworks Durango has three sockets and is controlled by a dial that can be turned to power one, two or three of the lights at any given time. It weighs just about 18 pounds and includes a power cord that's over 8 feet long. It comes with an oil rubbed bronze finish and a sheer brown shade, but it is on the expensive side. Coming in at number 8 on our list. Featuring a circular base you can tap to control its brightness, the Max Volador Industrial has low, medium and high settings. It comes with a dimmable 800 lumens LED bulb that mimics vintage filament style designs. It's equipped with a transparent glass shade, two USB ports on the base and a power cord that's over 5 feet long. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for Edison Lamps, or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, the Shine High Farmhouse has three swiveling joints, allowing you to reposition each of the sockets. However, the shades are made from wire, so you can't focus the light on specific areas. It comes with three 500 lumen bulbs and a stable weighted base, but it's only available in black. Moving up our list to number 6. Constructed from half-inch pipe segments, including straight lengths, square-headed plugs and elbow joints, the 12-volt Monster Birdcage includes a conical wire shade that's more for looks than reducing glare. A switch is built into the socket and it's also available as a pair. Note that some assembly is required. Halfway up our list at number 5. Weighing less than 2 pounds, the Surpass House Retro has a stained dark walnut circular wooden base that's 5.5 inches in diameter. Its black metal socket rises about 2 inches and its cage-like covering is tall enough to allow for long bulbs. The on-off switch is on the power cord and it stands just under a foot tall, but the shade doesn't lock onto the base. At number 4. Built with a cord that's nearly 6 feet long, the Leon Light Torchier comes with three tungsten filament bulbs. At 5.5 feet tall, each of its sockets hangs from a short arm and is covered with amber glass, causing it to cast an orange glow. It's equipped with a convenient foot switch and backed by a two-year warranty. However, the pole is not one piece. Nearing the top of our list at number 3. Although each option of the Why Not Steampunk is made from rustic iron pipe, their designs differ significantly. While every model comes with a 40 watt bulb, they all have distinct accents, from red valve handles to decommissioned pressure gauges. These weigh between 1 and 5 pounds each and come with built in dimmer switches and a knit covering on the power cord. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for Edison lamps or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, the Brightec Teardrop features three hanging pendant lights that dangle from thin 9-inch arms at heights of 4.5, 5 and 5.5 five and feet. Each of the sockets has a shade that's shaped like a water droplet and made from wire caging. The thick base is 10 inches in diameter and it comes with a satisfaction guarantee and three bulbs. And coming in at number 1 on our list. Available in black, light blue, gold and rose gold, the Hytral Vintage has a wooden base and a rotating on-off switch. At nearly one and a half feet tall, its thin post leads to a hanging socket without a shade, leaving the bulb exposed. Its power cord is over five feet long and is backed by a two-year warranty. It's relatively inexpensive. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybit.com. Go there now and search for Edison lamps or simply click beneath this video.